Ben, last one before we come on to your stable of fighters and, and current things. I will have to ask you, obviously, I remember during the Otto Wallin fight, I think, you know, the day after, um, when you were still with Tyson, uh, his dad, John Fury, did have an outburst on BT um, and, and made some comments about yourself. Um, he has made some comments about Sugar Hill this week mm -hmm. and has said, essentially, that Sugar should leave um, and not train Tyson anymore. What do you make of his comments, John Furies? He's a passionate dad, isn't he? And he loves his son. And, um, you know, I think I get on with John, you know. I get on with John whenever I see John, we have a chat. I get on with the whole family. And um, I think that him not being able to be there with Tyson made it tough. And, and you know, he's a passionate guy, John. I think that you saw that in his outburst that he had. Um, but I do, I, you know, since then, I, I do, I speak and get on with John. So, and again, you know, he's passionate about his son. I, I don't know the ins and outs of what's been said and what's happened. And well, well, I know Sugar made a comment. I haven't seen it to say, oh, maybe it was in this, you know, maybe it was done in a bit of a... I can't comment on how... Yeah. Deliveroo's here. Let me come Go back on. to it. <laughs> Um, yeah, John, John's a passionate guy. I haven't seen what was said by Sugar or um, how it was said or whatever to, to make a comment on it. But as I said, John's a passionate guy. He's an outspoken guy. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure it'll all be fine. And those are the words and the response of Ben Davison as he responds to the comments of what John Fury said about Javen Sugar Hill that he should be fired because of the comments he made about not training his son at a particular time. And Ben Davison responds to that with these, or with this response. He says, hey, um, you know, uh, I get along well with John Fury. Uh, I have no problem with John Fury, and he's very passionate. I'm sure everything will be fine. And you know what that response is, people? That is a politician response. Shout out to D. Smith, okay? <laughs> um, for uh, uh, making that, for, for that particular slogan. Uh, I think that that is a politician answer. Meaning, I don't want to get involved, so let me answer a way that I can appease both guys without offending anyone. You know, <laughs> excuse me. But he did mention that, oh, well, I don't know, or I don't know enough about what the problem issue was to say, oh, that's maybe a little this, a little that, you know. And I think at the end of the day, um, Ben Davison is playing it safe because for many, many years, Ben Davison was on John Fury's shit list. He was too young. He wasn't a real coach. You guys know the story, right? And Ben, you know, now is getting along with um, John Fury. He doesn't want to speak badly about him, respectively. I get it. However, um, <clears throat> he didn't look at it as a big deal because it's just one man's opinion about another man. So what? You know, and Ben's like, hey, I'm pretty sure everything will be fine. You know, in other words, who cares? You know, um, so I can understand him not doing that. I do think that's a weak way out, to be honest with you, because, you know, if you should know anything about sympathy, you should know what it's like to be talked about by the guy that's talking about another trainer of the guy that you used to train, right? So at the end of the day, Ben Davison, you know, he owes it to himself to, you know, put himself in the position of Javen Sugar Hill and respond as though he was in that position. Does that make sense, people? I mean, it's like, well, hey, if he said that about me and I wasn't training him, what's the big deal? But instead, he says, oh, man, I get along good. We talk. We have a good powwow and everything, blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, I'm not saying anything against him. You know, and I think it's what you don't say, honestly, that kind of sticks out. You know, he didn't confirm or deny, but, 
If it would have been something wrong with Javen, J, Javen Sugar Hill, I think he would be the first to point that out because he was once the trainer. There's a motive there, you know what I mean? There's some motivation behind that. So maybe that could have been the place. So he just kept neutral, which was a safe place to be. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Ben Davison speaking about John Fury wanting Tyson Fury to fire Javen Sugarheel because of the comments. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!